Today we'll begin painting our background. Before we do that, I wanna show you seven different possible techniques that you could use while painting with acrylics. The first technique is blending. So I'm gonna choose my colors. I have my palette. By the way, I'm right-handed, so my palette's on my right side. My water, my paper towel, and all my supplies that I might need are on my right-hand side. So for blending, I'm gonna take one color. I'll begin painting with one color, and then while it's wet, I'll add a second color and kind of try to eliminate the line between those two colors. Okay, so if I want to blend from darker to lighter, I just overlap with my brush strokes until you don't see a line between them any longer. I'm going to add a little bit more of my lighter color at the bottom here. The goal with blending, to have really nice blending, is to not really see the lines or streaks in between your colors and just have a nice smooth value scale from dark to medium to light. So that's blending. For layering, I'm just going to put the color down now and then I'm going to add to it in a, a couple of minutes when it's dry. So I'm just getting this color in place so I can layer on top of it in a moment when that's a little more dry. Acrylic paint dries pretty quickly, you know, probably about 15 minutes and it's really dry. Um, but if this dries for maybe just a minute or two, it should be good enough for me to show you. I'm gonna show you glazing also in a minute. So let me get that paint in place just so that it's dry and we can go back to it when it's dry. Okay, so I have my paint in those two spots. Okay, for scraping, I'm going to bring back my fork that I used for clay. Make sure there's no clay on it. And I'm going to actually lay down my color. Or colors, you know, I could have a blended area maybe. That might be nice. Let me do that. And scraping has to be done while your paint is wet. So while your paint is still wet, you can take the fork and you can kind of create lines, scrape into the paint. This might be interesting for like grass. If I wanted to create a grass technique, I could do it by scraping. Okay, so that's with your fork. I did that. Impasto. Impasto is thickly layered paint. So just take large, large amounts of paint and just kind of scoop the paint onto the canvas for impasto. So thick that you can see the globs of paint. Obviously, this is not a technique that you would use if you were running low on paint, right? Because you have to really see the thick textured globs of paint. So that's impasto. Pointillism. It's kind of what it sounds like. It's really painting using dots. So you just use re repetition of just dot, dot, dot. I'm actually using the corner of my paintbrush since we have a flat paintbrush to create these little dots. Now, if you want pointillism to get lighter, put the dots farther apart, okay? And if you want it to be darker, you put the dots really close to each other, maybe even overlap some of the dots. Some artists paint in only this style and it took them years to create their masterpiece because it was all just tiny dots. So that's pointillism. Paper toweling. This is a technique I learned once upon a time where you actually paint using a paper towel. So you actually just put a little tiny bit of water on your paper towel and then you just dip it into your paint. I actually thought this would be neat for a background. Since this is our background color, I'm gonna just use this for my background. So to paper towel, you kind of just dab the paint wherever you want it. This is almost like sponge painting, but instead you don't have to clean your sponge at the end. We just throw the paper towel away when you're done. Maybe I'm gonna take a little bit of a darker too. You do like a sponging. So paper toweling is fun. It's another neat little trick that you can use to create clouds or, you know, just create like a little bit of texture, like you wanna make bushes. You can do that with paper toweling. Now glazing 
typically glazing, you would use a paintbrush and you would like paint with the paintbrush really rough. I don't want you to do that with your brush because you only have one and I don't want you to damage it. So instead you could glaze with paper towel. Once your first layer is dry, take your paper towel and you can kind of sponge as a second layer. And that's really like glazing. Now typically you do that with a paintbrush, but it kind of looks the same when you do with a paper towel as you would with a paintbrush. So I kind of like that having an under layer and then as your uh, paint is dry, you can create that second glazed layer. Uh, layering itself, you actually would use a paintbrush. So once one paint color is dry, you would take the color that you wanna layer with and you would just kind of create a second layer. And then almost like I did with my blending, I wanna gradually get lighter. So I'll actually take some of the paint off of my brush with my paper towel and gradually just kind of get less and less with my color. And that creates a neat effect too. It almost creates like a, a fog or a mist kind of effect, okay? So those are a few different things that you can try when you're working on your painting today. And if you want a scrap piece of paper to kind of practice on, I'll give you one so that you can you know, practice a little before you paint. I hope you guys enjoy painting today. Have a nice one.